morning. Really wanted to crack on with Avery 2.0 part 3 today, but unfortunately, as you can tell from the title of this video, that's not going to happen because there's more important things that we need to be doing. Like, obviously on, on Thursday we went to, uh, where do we go, Stratford-upon-Avon to build like a carport thing, uh, which was really nice, but on the way there, the van started to struggle slightly, it just didn't have a lot of power. By the time we left, it was completely useless. So we pulled up in the middle of Stratford upon Avon Town Centre called the AA. He came along and diagnosed the uh, EGR valve problem, but Renault made it very difficult to get to him. Very difficult indeed. So he had a go and he couldn't, so he said, I'm gonna have to get you recovered back to Northampton, which they turned up at nearly midnight. So we got home at half past one in the morning. Yesterday, I didn't really do much. I think I went to a, on a scooter to go and pick some medication up and get some stuff. And then uh, you just waited for a friend of a friend to come round to definitely diagnose the uh, EGR valve been stuck open so he's told us exactly what to do and that's what we're going to do unfortunately trying to get one has been really difficult I've had to ring around all the places and get one from Milton Keynes which is 40 minute drive from here and it shuts at 2 o'clock they're going to get it for 12 o'clock so what we're going to do now is get out there Jordan and I strip it all down apparently we're going to take the headlights out all the grill the bumper the intercooler and stuff just to get this valve out and then take that with us and go and get a new one but like always when I do work on vehicles it's raining and miserable, so we've got to deal with that as well. But I really just, I want to crack on, I really do. Emma's been painting, it's, it's looking, you know, but things have to wait because the bus earns money, the birds don't. That EGR valve is 100% definitely broken. It's all sooted up with crap and it's got a bit broken on it and uh, which we don't even know what it's for. So we're gonna take it with us. George has pulled up his Range Rover. So we're gonna get over to Milton Keynes, get the new EGR valve. Been on FaceTime to the guy who came and looked at it yesterday and he's like, yeah, yeah, definitely that, definitely that. So fingers crossed, this is the only problem. So uh, round, uh, round trip to Milton Keynes GSF for uh, the part, which should be here now because it's gone 12 o'clock. Shuts at one, two. So we've done it in plenty of time and then get back, hopefully put it together and it works. Right, okay, so we just got back from uh, G GSF car park. Well, it wasn't GSF in the end, we actually had to go Euros because what had happened is uh, GSF were the only people, I would have got Euros in the first place, but we were saying they were out of stock on the Click and Collect and they had a great big Halloween discount code. But they didn't have them in stock, so I went with GSF who said they could get one to the Milk Keen store for 12 o'clock. Brilliant. So we went over there only to find that they were, uh, what they're doing is transferring it from a Daventry branch, which was actually probably nearer from our house to Daventry than it was to go into Milton Keynes to get it but when they actually done the phone call to have it sent over it said they had one in stock but they couldn't find it on the shelf anywhere but they didn't let me know they took my phone number didn't let me know so we drove all the way to Milton Keynes to go get something that wasn't there so Jordan popped into Mr Clutch over the road to see if they might have an EGR valve lying around that would fit this not likely but they actually rang Euro car parts which was literally across the road and they said yeah we've got one on the shelf well you definitely got it before I send these boys over we'll yep yep got it Went over there, tried to charge £274 for it. I said, what about the promo code for click and collect? Add that to it. Okay, £174, a bit more than what we want to pay, but we've got the right part. But the main concern is obviously, this is the old crappy one that's came out. Hello. It's really dirty and shitted up. But what is more concerning is this piece of metal doesn't belong to this at all. And this was wedged in there like that, stopping the valve doing its job. So I've just FaceTimed Shane, the mechanic, and shown him he hasn't got a clue where this has come from. It's not part of this whole system. God knows how it got in there. So a bit concerning, not sure what's gonna happen now. So all we could do is get it together with a nice shiny new one. Now I've got dirty, because I've got dirty hands. Put that on and hopefully it'll work. Please work.
worked. <laughs> that doesn't happen very often, but it worked. She's purring. We've taken her for a test drive up and down to burn the smoke away. And uh, yeah, she is like full of power and full of beans. I'm so glad it actually, I was, I was really dreading that we'd done all this, we'd gone through all the hassle of going to get the part, put it on, and that wasn't the problem. But fingers crossed, it is 100% working. So what we're gonna do now, tomorrow, we're gonna, uh, no, Jordan's away, he's doing airsoft. He likes airsoft, he's like a young kid. I'm an old man, so I'm probably just gonna miss the football again. So yeah, what I'll probably do is take, uh, well, I, need to, I need to get the codes cleared off the bus so I can then put in the DPF cleaner, put some fuel in, and I'm gonna run it up and down the carriageway like over 3,000 revs to make sure that it's uh, nothing, no shit, no shit in there. Just clear the DPF, EGR valve is done, so fingers crossed we can just relax and uh, not worry about it. And hopefully Monday morning we can go to work as planned. We had, um, they're up there, three or four bolts spare, but cable ties, cable ties done it. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I'll be able to crack on with the Avery. Might do something to it tomorrow. Uh, there's certain things that I want to clear up. I might go and get a lamppost out of the old Avery, concrete that in, sort the wiring out, sort the wiring out for the light that was sat on the Avery, which is just hanging upside down and uh, move forward from there. So uh, yeah, might see you in the morning. I'll see you in the next one anyway. So thanks for watching, bye. <laughs> Thank you.